the story of cars, and where they're going. People have always dreamed of building machines that could move people and things without using animals. But it took a long time to make it a reality. Early cars and the rise of gasoline engines. The first car, powered by steam, was invented by Nicholas Cugnet in the late 1700s. It was slow and cumbersome, and horses remained the preferred mode of transportation for a while. However, inventors kept trying to build a better car. And the answer came with the internal combustion engine. Carl Benz is credited with putting the first gasoline-powered car on the road in 1885. These engines were smaller and more powerful than steam. Engines making cars faster and more practical. Henry Ford and the mass production revolution. For a long time, cars were expensive and only affordable for the wealthy. This changed thanks to Henry Ford, who revolutionized car manufacturing in the early 1900s. He designed a single car model that could be easily assembled using simple parts and standardized procedures. This mass production method brought down the cost of cars significantly, making them accessible to a much wider audience. Ford's most famous car, the Model T, became a huge success with over 15 million units produced by the 1920s. The problem with gasoline and the rise of alternatives. The growing number of cars brought a new challenge, pollution. Gasoline engines, while powering the success of the automobile, emit harmful emissions that contribute to air quality issues and global climate change. Electric cars and the search for cleaner solutions. Many car companies are now developing alternatives to gasoline-powered vehicles, electric cars powered by batteries instead of fuel are becoming increasingly popular. Tesla, founded in 2003, played a significant role in this shift by creating the Tesla Roadster, an electric car with impressive speed and range, hybrids and exploring new fuels. Hybrid cars combine the technology of gasoline and electric engines. They use gasoline engines to generate power for the battery, which then propels the car. This reduces overall gasoline consumption and emissions. Additionally, car companies are researching alternative fuels like hydrogen, power for the battery, which then propels the car, which has the potential to be cleaner but currently faces limitations in terms of range and storage. The future of transportation, a world beyond the gas engine. The future of transportation is likely to involve a variety of solutions. Not just one single replacement for the gasoline engine. We might see a mix of electric, hybrid, and potentially even hydrogen-powered cars or a shift towards using public. Transportation like buses and trains more frequently. Investing in these new technologies is crucial, not just for the future of the car itself, but also for the well-being of our planet. Let's talk. Do you own a car? What kind of engine does it use? How often do you use public transportation or alternative modes of travel like bicycles? Share your thoughts in the comments below.